drawing students welcome to week three of online learning um so since we didn't get to go on our zoo field trip i still want to do a lesson around animals um so you guys can you know draw your pet or you can just like i'm all right with you guys just searching up um, an image online um of a realistic animal not not like a, a cartoony one or anything like that um and i'm gonna take you guys through the steps on identifying shapes in the animals and then drawing it and then we're gonna color it, but not with um, anything traditional. Um, we are actually gonna do it with coffee. So if you guys have coffee at home, please make yourself a cup. I made myself a cup in preparation for um, uh, just working on this art piece. So I hope that you guys have fun with it. I'm gonna take you guys through a time-lapse video of me drawing with you guys, um, as well as just showing you guys how to make the different types of values for um, your piece using coffee. If you guys don't have coffee, you can also use like different types of spices like this one's paprika. Um, you can use like chili powder, anything that has like a dark pigment to it. Um, you can use food coloring. You can use uh, different types of vegetables like beets or I don't know anything that just really has a dark pigment to it. So if you don't have coffee, try to find an alternative use. Um, but yeah, same concept on mixing the colors and things like that. So I'll take you guys through that entire process. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's my setup. Um, you can use any type of like cup that you have at home. I just had these handy. So what I did is I filled it up with coffee, uh, different amounts of coffee. Um, and then you can see like the more added water, um, the lighter the pigment is, um, less water. Uh, the darker it is. I also added some grounds too and added a little bit of water in there to kind of see what that does. Uh, like I said, if you don't have coffee, you can use like a type of spice. Um, if you don't have a paintbrush, I'm going to use a paintbrush, but if you don't have a paintbrush, you can use a Q-tip. You can even use your fingers. Try to be creative with it. Um, I'm not looking for perfection in this one. I'm never looking for perfection. Um, I just want you guys to try it out. So I chose a lion because that's my favorite animal. So you guys can simply look up a realistic image of your favorite animal, or you can like draw your dog at home or uh, really any anything that you have handy, or you can just completely come up with it on your own. It's totally up to you, but I'm gonna take you guys through a time-lapse video of identifying the shapes. Cause like we learned this week with the human figure, uh, same thing goes for, for animals. You have to identify certain shapes within whatever it is that you're drawing. So yeah, let's okay, get started. So um, you're, you guys are gonna have to find an image. I printed mine out. You guys don't have to print yours out. I only printed it so you guys can see like what I'm drawing. So I'm drawing um, a lion since that is my favorite animal. Um, so similar to what we learned last week with the human figure, um, what we're gonna have to do is start identifying shapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little rough sketch. So, this circle will represent his head. So I see um, a circle right here. There's probably another like circle or triangle in this area. Um, it's kind of square as you get to the bottom. So everything in drawing, you really want to just break it up into shapes um, so that it's just a, a nice outline of um, what you will be drawing. This kind of helps center and keep really everything together. So there's my triangle. You guys do not have to go as fast as I am. I think since I'm a caricature artist, I just naturally 
go kind of fast. So I'm going to go ahead and just do, I'm going to show you guys the rough sketch of how I'm identifying shapes within the line that I'm drawing. Even the eyes, they're, they're shapes, right? Um, and then you have an ear over here, which is like a semicircle. You can't really see the other ear. But I'm just identifying these shapes, right? to keep a nice outline of how I'm gonna fill this in. I'm gonna go ahead and do a speed video now so you guys can see the whole process. Um, after the speed video is done, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, this coffee to go ahead and paint it. So remember, you have to get a different, different uh, values within the coffee that you make. All I did was add extra water to some of them to get lighter values and then like these don't have any water and these have coffee grounds which will make for a really dark um a dark value so i'm gonna go ahead and continue with a time lapse video Okay, so I just finished my sketch of the lion. This is just a quick general sketch. I use the shapes that I identified in the drawing or in the picture of the lion. Um, and I did a super rough sketch, so I drew really lightly. And then what you do after is you can go in and add some details. You don't wanna add too much shading because we're gonna do that with uh, the coffee. Um, so remember I said you have to add some water for like lighter values. So let me just show you guys that. Ooh, that one's a really light value. You can't even really see it. Some of these are really hard to see, but you can kind of notice. I think the ones with the coffee grounds have the darkest value. Yeah, that definitely has the darkest value. Um, I have never painted with coffee before, so this is also really new to me. Um, so yeah, what you're going to do is you're just, what I would do is just go in with the lighter values first and then keep adding and adding. Once you layer on those values, you'll be able to get your accomplished um, piece. So you just have to really look at your image and ask yourself, okay, where are my darks? Where are my lights? And then you'll go with that. So I'm going to do a time-lapse video of me painting as well. Um, again, you can use a, a brush. You can use um, a Q-tip. Or if push comes to shove, you can also use your fingers if you'd like. Um, but yeah, we're just, I'm learning this with you guys as well. So let's see how it turns out. Okay guys, that was way harder than I thought and it looks really messy, but um, I found that if you add the spice to the coffee, you get darker values. I wasn't happy with the original values with just the coffee, so I kind of experimented, but I kind of like the texture that the spice gives. Um, definitely a new thing for me. Um, that was my reference picture and that's my sketch. Um, so I am excited to see what you guys come up with. Uh, hope you guys have fun with this. Don't get too messy. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was a new experience for me and, um, try not to get too messy. Um, remember this is going to be due Saturday by 11 59 PM on Padlet. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Stay tuned.